welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What go on, people? Open body, no gate. Okay. Open body, no right. Listen and listen so good. It doesn't come from nutritious food, vitamins, and medicine alone. It comes from peace of mind, peace in the heart, and peace in the soul. It is magnified by laughter, love, and faith in God. May you find peace and good health, not only in this day, but for a lifetime. Big up everybody who they bought you. Well, I'm going to give people them some news because like them come back. Kill the police, them, them, them smarter than the average beer. But tell them say people grew up now and turn yogi. People are not boo boo no more. The people them know exactly where they are do. The police say I try them best to try to wipe look at that other thing under the rug. So they might bring up some holy part of thing. Look at what they were watching last night. Nobody cannot tell me nothing. Everybody with the pandiote, they're supposed to get fire. Said what I said that I mean what I said I mean not to give up. For one and all one, this will go on right now. Here yeah, the bag of line now, my people. Four prisoners have escaped from the Otrius police station in St. Anne's. Report that the police personnel became aware of the situation when checks were made at the cell this morning. A manhunt has been launched to recapture the men. Hold on a bit there now. Not one thing goes so. Them let them out. You understand? Remember the such girl family around there now because she never had the piece of money. She could get out for her family. So all I know is take the money and let out the man. The man talk about the man. Them broke out. When they know something about them broke out, we don't let them out. Pull the door and let them out. And I go like someone that sleep. Oh no, never did that sleep. We don't hear the bag of noise. Me, I don't know what's the exactly one. They are 40-year-old Terence Harrell of Charlemagne St. Anne, who is charged with shooting with intent, and 42-year-old Dennis Colbert of Inzenton St. Mary, who is charged with rape. The other men are charged with illegal possession of firearm. They are 22-year-old Javar Grant of Priory St. Anne, and 30-year-old Jermaine Rogers of Mile End in Ocheria St. Anne. You know what, people? Me, I'm follow this story, so don't worry yourself. I soon come back, I can go no more news. 18-year-old hotel worker charged with rape of guests. Yes, people. Yes, the boy raped the guests. Here we are going for what we are now. An 18 year old employee of a popular hotel resort in St. Anne has been charged with the alleged rape of a guest last week. Well, I know, people. Look at the comment section. The people about hotel now which hotel. And they first stop a long time to go on. Keshwad Barrett, who is employed as a houseman, was charged on Tuesday after being accused of sexually assaulting the guest who is 17 year old. He was taken to custody on July 28th after the teenager who is a student from St. Thomas filed a complaint. Can I ask you one question? Who the teenager was at the hotel? The people in the comment section, they want to know. So we also ask to them. You understand? Robert who posed as car seller arrested and charged. You want to go on for that now. 28 year old Donovan Stewart, a taxi operator from James Street in Rosetown, Kingston 13, has been charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition on robbery with aggravation. Stewart's charges stem from an incident that occurred along Spanish Town Road, Kingston 11, on Thursday, July 28. According to the police report, a man and his two sons met Stewart to purchase a motor car that was advertised for sale on social media platform. Stewart reportedly led the prospective buyers along a dirt track leading to the Rosetown community where he showed them a different motor vehicle from the one that was advertised. But well, what are now? All them are two lunatics to get for this and they go up on the dirt track. I just show them in our world. I just dash them in our world because I'm fool them fool. Only can't really about to go around this and go buy a vehicle. Certain places, you don't go. Anyway, we can continue. Stuart tried to convince the man to buy the vehicle. The man refused and was in the process of leaving when Stuart and two other men pounced upon him. The hoodlum robbed the man and his son at gunpoint at three cell phones and 614,000. Following the investigation, Stuart was arrested and subsequently charged. His court date is being finalized. Funeral, we should not prepare for this old germs, yeah. That we should have done. Hold on, they know. One thing the police tell them all is stupidness. Every week. Week in, week out. One minute I hear them say this man I want it, the next minute I see him carry me in, and then in God. Let me tell you who I tell you about now. Shiny released from police custody without charge. Yes, people. The man then let go tell off of us. Yes. 
aircraft from us Garda Road. Dancehall entertainer Shiny has been released from police custody without charge. The artist, another man, was released yesterday afternoon after they reported the question by detective from the St. Andrews South Police Division. Head of the division, Senior Superintendent Kirk Rickett, confirmed the men's release. The two individuals were released after a series of interviews in the presence of the attorney. Dear Kirk, I try to sell a dream now. Our investigation continues. I wonder who now continues with now. Who now pick up for Lego now, Kirk? Not how the people that want to know. Who a waste of time? One bunch of waste of time. Murder suspected in Clarendon's farmer's death. Yes, people. You want to go on for what you now. Shock and disbelief are now hanging over the community of Springfield in the rural Clarendon after an elderly man was found dead at his house. Murder is suspected. Who are you bit now? Either the gangster they want in place. And I'm seeing when the them kill him. You understand? You want to go on for what you now, my people. The body of 79 year old farmer. Lanford Henry was discovered about 2.50 p.m. on Wednesday after a relative who noticed a change in his routine went in search of him. Matthew Chambers, who said his uncle always visits his farm early in the morning, think thieves may have had something to do with his death. Animals are missing from his farm. I can't say exactly what happened, but I think the ram goat may be the cause of it. Well, and then kill him for ram them. She no star. The country turned upside down. Imagine you work all your life and retire and enjoy yourself. That's the time people are going to just come and take your life and all you have. People are serious thing, you know. So I want to listen. I have a lot of uncle, but he's the best. The whole community is responsible for. He doesn't deserve this death. But hold on then. When all this come and say, nobody deserves to die this way. Is there a special way? people deserve to die i am just asking for a friend because i don't know and i think i need to know anyway people make can move on because this one is a drama this one i'm going to tell you now a drama why the police never stop with this boy who never need to get the gun all of the others slapping me man lead cop to illegal gun after admitting having yes people man tell them they have gun and the police themselves can't you go show me gun why the police never slap me it never matter. We never want to see gun. 26 year old fisherman Charlie James has been charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition after voluntarily leading the police to where the weapon was stashed. Charlie yeah, was there. Hungry, hungry. You understand how to see get rough. And the man here say, you know, free food I give up behind bars. Three square meals a day. Rent free. Let me go around there. Because trick the police them and go around there. Yeah? That is exactly where the boy do. We want to put the boy on the ground. Watch the beginning of the paper, the ball to ball commentary now. Our news team understand that James, an alleged lottery scammer, told enforcers about the gun while in custody at the Montego Bay Police Station. Officer had no prior knowledge of the weapon existing. Yes, people, let me tell you though. Reported at about 6.45 a.m. on Wednesday, police conducted an intelligence-led operation at James' house in Bottom Road in Orange District, St. James. He was being sought as a person of interest in a case of murder committed back in 2020. A search of his premises resulted in the seizure of seven cell phones 26 sheets of paper and a composition notebook containing the names and address and telephone numbers of people residing overseas. Yes, you anti no bad name, the panic. Yeah, man, you may attack to. James reportedly admitted that the police that he was trying a thing to make money. He was subsequently arrested and taken to custody for possession of identified information. It is also reported that while being processed at the Montego Bay CIB, James voluntarily admitted he was in the possession of an illegal firearm. Which he wanted to add over to the police. But <laughs> what had the people? This is what they had drama. Just so. Just so. So you're not trying to get the vinyl record and you're dead for young girl. So you say, watch ya. But I'm going to go around up sometime. Free food around there. All of my friends around them. He was subsequently taken back to his premises where he took the police to a thick vegetative area and pointed out a spot where the gun was buried. The area was dug up and a black plastic bag containing a black 44 Magnum revolver with three 9mm rounds and three spent casing were found. James was transported back, yes people, back alive to the Montego Bay Police Station where he was charged after a caution statement, question and answer session. Why <laughs> never slap with this boy? Yeah. This boy deserves to get slapped with. Well, I don't know. I don't want to grill my God, my people. I don't want to ask me a question if I don't want to reach the cafe, my God. No, 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 no. From the last incident in Moka Fest, from that, I don't go back down there. But anyway, here we go, here we go now. Police probing double murder in the grill. Yes, the boy them get what they deserve. The police are investigating double murder in the grill Westmoreland Thursday evening. One of the deceased has been identified as Devon Hendrick 